So there's a lot of possible times that might come up uh, where you need to increase or decrease the humidity in your enclosure, which is the amount of water vapor in the, wa in, in the air. Uh, maybe it's from a more tropical place and needs a more damp environment or a more humid environment. Uh, maybe you need to decrease it because it's been staying really damp in the enclosure, which can cause scale rotten things in animals that don't need such high humidity. Or maybe your animal is from more of a dry, desert-like place. So first I'm going to actually go over decreasing the humidity because there's not too much you can do. The main thing you can do is get as much of ventilation in that enclosure as possible. I use mostly glass enclosures for my animals and that works just fine, but they will hold more humidity than full screen enclosures. You can buy some enclosures like for chameleons and other lizards uh, and some snakes that is screened on every side. This lets through a ton of ventilation and air, so it'll stay more dry. If you do have an enclosure like I do uh, with just a screen on top, make sure there's nothing on that screen and nothing covering it so that as much air and airway can get through there as possible. The next thing you can do is pay attention to the location you have your enclosure. Uh, I know a lot of people keep the reptiles in the basement and that's completely fine, but basements often are more humid than the rest of the house. So it's possible that that humidity from the basement is what's affecting your enclosure. So you might wanna move your tank to the main floor or to another floor that has less humidity. Uh, to gauge this, you can use some sort of just cheap humidity gauge. This one was just a couple dollars and uh, it'll show you the percentage of humidity. It's different for every animal and animal species of what you need. You can just look it up and see what kind of humidity they're looking for. So there's not much else you can do to decrease the humidity. However, you can watch uh, the next part right here on how to increase it because maybe you're accidentally doing a couple of these things and it's keeping it higher. So making sure you don't do any of the following things can decrease it. But now we'll talk about increasing the humidity. Firstly, there's a couple products you can use. Uh, one, this is an actual product made for this. It's Tropical Mist made by Zilla, and it's even called Humidifying Spray. Technically, this is for tropical animals, but even if your animal isn't tropical and it needs high humidity, this will bring it up. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but uh, you can just shake it up, do a few sprays in the enclosure. It, ha it has a really strong smell. It won't bother the reptile, but it kind of bugs me just uh, so you know in advanced. And you can use this every so often. I'm sure it says, just make sure you follow the directions on this bottle. If you don't want to purchase an actual product, you can simply use water in some sort of spray bottle. This is a, an actual reptile misting spray bottle, but you can also just use some sort of normal squirt bottle. Just make sure it's completely clean and never had any chemicals or anything else in it beforehand. So that it's perfectly clean and just pure water. Spraying the enclosure down, every so often will make it more, a bit more damp in there and get that humidity higher. You wanna be careful because if your animal, like say a snake, if you need it to be higher, you can do this, but you don't want it to be constantly damp in there. Things like that can cause scale rot and scale rot is a big pain uh, to deal with. Luckily, I haven't ever had scale rot with my animals, uh, but it's something I work to avoid. You can also buy actual products uh, that automatically spray for you. You hook it on the side of the enclosure, you can set on a timer, so maybe you want it to spray the enclosure for 30 seconds every two hours. You can set it to that. This is expensive. I think it's like $80 a couple I've seen. Uh, so this works just fine. Chances are you're only going to have to spray it daily if you really need to spray it at all. Next, I've got a reptile humidifier. humidifier. This is made by Zoomed, and uh, it is made specifically for reptiles. So you just plug it in, turn it on, and then it will let out. It's essentially just steam what's coming out of it. Uh, it'll be warm and it will humidify your enclosure. You can stick this on top and as it flows in, it will get that humidity higher. Make sure you keep an eye on it with the humidity gauge. You can control how much comes out with the knob. Uh, it doesn't specifically say what percentage it'll get it to because it depends on the enclosure size. But you can use one of these. Uh, it is, I think, 60 or $70, but I found it to be really helpful. And I've had this for like two or three years and it still works just fine. Next, there are some things you can do that don't involve actual products. Uh, and then these are also things to look for if you need to decrease that humidity, make sure you aren't doing these things. But the first thing you can do is have a heat lamp over your water bowl. Now you don't want the water to get hot because uh, you want your reptile to be able to cool off in its water. But having the water bowl near the heat lamp will let that water evaporate more quickly and that causes more humidity in the air. If you need to decrease it, just make sure the water bowl is as far from that heat lamp as possible. 
Next, something else that I found work that works is I cut up a plastic bag and laid it over about half of the screen on top. Make sure you don't cover it all so your animal still gets air and can breathe just fine. But adding that plastic on top will keep more of the water vapor evaporating inside the enclosure for longer. You can also add plants to the enclosure. This won't make a huge difference, but plants will add just a little bit of humidity, especially if you're watering them and stuff. Uh, and they'll release just a tiny bit of moisture because they're in there with them. It won't make a big difference though. And you'll have better luck using one of these products or moving the water bowl around or putting something over part of the screen. So those are the techniques I use to adjust the humidity in my enclosures. If you have more ideas uh, of what you found that works, make sure you leave it in the comments so other people can see and so I can see. Uh, but that's it for this video. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.